Hey guys and gals out on YouTube, how y'all doing tonight? We got here Lego Star Wars set seven five two seven two nine up four hundred and seventy pieces um seventy nine 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 at the local Walmart in Eagle River, Alaska. We're just starting to see these, or at least I'm just starting to see the sets up here. It comes with three uh, figures, minifigs, a first order tie pilot, which makes perfect sense. Let's pull it in a little bit. Knight of Ren, which is really cool. It's got the big sword. I've uh, never seen that before. Lord of the Rings, the um, Rukai, I believe. And of course, Fen. Got Kylo Ren up here in the corner. Don't mind the glare. And uh, this box is oddly, it doesn't have any anti theft devices on it back view showing the hangar supports showing the TIE fighter including the little green rockets very cool looking red there Kylo Ren Knights of Ren TIE pilot and of course Finn with a surprise look on his face it's a rather large box a little bit of dust on it and the box is pretty beat up at the store anyway so We'll set this down and let's uh, let's crack it open here. Let's see here. We'll use a Swiss Army knife tonight because it's what's handy. Ah, uh, just two fairly easy tape seals on the corner here, and open up the flaps like a normal box. And uh, oh, landslide. And there we are, we're empty. There's a box. Okay, ooh, that's kind of cool. All right, the instruction manual here is pretty cool. Set 75272. We've got our friendly wheel right around the back again. It's a sealed in plastic baggie. And we got parts, string, and, huh, different parts, three. Okay. Then, all right, we got um, bag one, two, and uh, three. With a solid white stripe, and then the more translucent colors the large two, the large three, and it doesn't say it, but I'm guessing that the instructions is the one. Hmm. So I guess we got five bags or six bags. Okay. Well, anyways, you know how this goes. Uh, don't want to embarrass us for like lack of knowledge or anything. So a one and a two and, and a three. Anyways, there's the build now. Uh, let's start off with Finn. Uh, you've all seen Finn before. He's got a satchel. Got kind of a silver metal gun, which resembles one that Captain Fazza has. Happy face on this side. It's got kind of a frown or more of a worried expression on this side. Maybe he's about to get shot or something. It's got nice leg printing. It's on the side. It's got the TIE Fighter, first order TIE Fighter. It's got this cool kind of rubbery piece, comes down. Gives the impression it goes right into his suit. He's got a small pistol. And he's got a very nice helmet print. He's got the standard angry clone face. And uh, nice leg printing here. And he's got back printing on the side. Yeah, it looks pretty good there. And then we've got... Knights of Ren. He's got this very big sword here, which... Um, a cool face. Actually has face print. It's just one-sided face print. Nothing on the back. He's got the same metallic color throughout the whole body. Printing on the front and rear legs and on his back. Um, and his sword here. Let me show you something unrelated. But here from the Lord of the Rings series, also Lego, is the Urukai. Saruman's Urukai. And if you notice his sword, it is exactly the same mold. Um... Even very close to, if not exactly the same colors. Maybe just from a different batch because of the age. But anyways, kind of cool sword. Kind of makes sense. I like it. Alright, let's get to the build though. 
first of all, this is a kind of a, some people call it the Dorito shape, so it'll never sit. It'll always, you know, tip forward. So they give you this stand here, which just has these main pieces here, and then has a, um, a towel on one side so it doesn't get too big of a, just a very simple little stand. You can snap it down your base plate if you want. Uh, I really like this red and black here, really creates a nice effect. It does have stud shooters here. Stud, sh or uh, excuse me, these uh, little, not stud shooters, um, spring loaded missiles are hidden back between these two lines. So take them and just simply load them in right here. So it's quite the trick. There it is. It's loaded. It's got the green. It's all hidden. And then this button here will pop out. I'll we'll play it downward because, yeah, otherwise I'll end up disappearing into the shelving. I like the effect of it. Uh, back here is kind of cool printing. It's not lit up or anything, so it kind of looks fine just being parked. I like the use of the clear bricks here. Really nice overall pleasant look to it. Um, to get into the cockpit, go ahead and tip this down here. And you can actually get right to there, or I'm going to just tip this one back. Put your top powder down inside of here. It sort of pops down. There's no actual seat. Um, it just has a little two by piece here. This Pull this piece down, this piece goes right back up here. Downside is this piece on the back does not follow, so you have to physically tip that back. It's all double hinged, it's fine. I like the build more than that. I'm really impressed with the way the wings are attached. It's a very unique kind of double print of the way. It's got the double pins and really holds tightly with the ends that go in or tiled over, it's really quite unique. It holds from both sides here and tightens in uh, pretty pretty neat actually. Set this guy back here. You put these little hinge pieces in here and they lock in on the, uh, the mate side of it. Very uh, very nice build. Really impressed with it. It's my first, I guess, of the TIE Fighters from LEGO. It's the first one I've done a review on. This is LEGO Star Wars 75272, the Sith Fighter and um, TIE Fighter. Really impressed with the build of it, the quality of it. Um, heavy. It is $80, and uh, it's really a big deal for some people. I mean, it's 80 bucks, it's 470 pieces. But anyways, if you like this video, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a follow. Let me know what you think. Till next time, stay safe out there, y'all. Ciao.